Hi, Haley Hollander, faculty member for PTA Global and co-founder of Advanced Training Performance. Today, we are gonna put a unique twist on the Viper Cylinder Lift. We'll call it the Viper Posterior Cylinder Lift to Flip. This exercise is designed to open up the anterior side of the body while simultaneously improving thoracic mobility and working on grip strength. There are five different levels to this exercise. I'm gonna take you from the beginning all the way through to the end. You can practice this on your own and build up to the final finale, but here we go. For level one, we start in the neutral hold of the viper, rotating the viper around the head while keeping it close to the body to build thoracic mobility, being sure to go each direction. In level two, we now hold the tube of the viper on its end with our thumbs and fingers pointed down towards the ground. This begins to build our grip strength and open up the anterior portion of the body as the viper rotates around the head. For level three, we hold the viper tube again and bring the viper behind the body, this time squatting and extending the arms up as you stand, developing the motor pattern to begin the cylinder lift. In level four, it gets really fun. With each squat, we stand and lift the viper up and catch it. When we reach the end, we flip it over our head between the legs and flip it back up to hold on the tube, repeating the movement by bringing the viper behind the body. For level five, we add the pendulum swing from the side of the body to an upright flip on end tube hold, bringing the viper posterior of the body and performing the cylinder lift again, but ending the exercise on the other side of the body. And those are your five levels of progression for the Viper posterior cylinder lift.